We have two dev kits that we received today. We're going to open them up and see which they are. This is a 7-inch display module. Inside the box, there's a CD that has all of the bitmaps, macros, and uh, fonts for the demo. Uh, it's got user manuals, hardware reference manuals. There's a little packet that has a compact flash or a SD card and some cables. There's a serial cable. There's a power cord for the power supply. And then the most important part is the 7 inch development kit. The front panel, the, the front of it is just the display module and the uh, touch screen. On the back, there's the PowerCom 4 board, which is used for the COM port and the AUX port. And then this is the SLCD5 controller. To connect it to your system, I have a COM port hooked up already on COM1. So we'll just take this serial cable, plug one end into the COM port, and we plug the other end into the port marked main on the power COM board. And then we take the power cord. power supply, and that plugs into the 5 volt power jack on the power com board also. Now at this point, it comes up and turns on right away. And it's powered, it's coming up into our default reset screen that shows the copyright. On the SD card, there's a built-in demo. So to run that, you plug the SD card into the SD card slot, like that, and push it down until it clicks. And then just pull the power and plug the power back in. And it'll automatically start running the demo. This shows the features of the display module. It shows the high resolution graphics. It shows some of the features that can go on. Fonts. More fonts. A keyboard demo. And you can keep cycling through this. There's quite a few demos on here. When you run the demo, the first thing you'll see is a prompt to touch the screen to calibrate. You can touch the screen anywhere and then get the calibration sequence. Just follow the instructions and press the circles where indicated. first step goes through all four corners and then the second step reruns the data. At this point your calibration information is saved and you do not need to run this step again. The interesting part here is some different customer screens that have been created. This would happen to be for a 4.3 inch screen but you get a sense of the fancy graphics. So next we're going to show how to prove that the display module is connected to the computer. We'll remove power, remove the SD card, reapply power. In this demo, I have the development kit connected to a COM port on my PC. My PC happens to not have a built-in COM port, so I have a USB to serial adapter plugged in. We sell these adapters if you don't have one. Our part number is 37-0008-01. If you plug it into your system, Windows should recognize it and install the drivers automatically. If it doesn't, you can obtain the drivers online from ftdichip.com. You'll want to look for their virtual COM port drivers and then scroll down and select the one appropriate for your operating system. I also use a terminal emulator program called TerraTerm that's available on the net for free at logmett.com. You can go to their download section and then get the free download of TerraTerm. 
and when you install it just take all the defaults and let it install. There's other terminal emulator software like Realterm which is available at realterm.sourceforge.net but this video won't discuss that. Once you have TerraTerm installed you'll need to configure it to talk to your hardware. You go to the setup window and then serial port. You select the COM port that your USB to serial adapter is connected to. You select 115.2 KBOD. You select 8 bits, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control. And then you hit OK. The next thing you need to do is configure the terminal. You'll want to set receive to CR plus LF so that you can see the responses from the display correctly and you'll want to click local echo to make sure you can see the characters that you type then click OK. The next thing you want to do is a save setup so that it'll remember the settings the next time you open TerraTerm. It'll give you a default file name which you can just pick and then click save. At this point you should be able to hit the return character and see the prompt from the display module. So now we're going to use the terminal emulator to make sure we're connected properly to the display module. After power cycling the display module without an SD card, you'll notice the bootloader sign-on messages and the prompt from the firmware. On the LCD screen you'll see the copyright message. In the terminal emulator, if you press the Z key and return, you'll send a clear screen command to the display module. You should see the screen go blank. Now we can write some text on the display module screen. We're using the T command and we'll display that at coordinates 100, 100. And you can see the message, some text, on the screen. This proves that you have your display module connected properly to your PC. After you've connected your power cord and serial cable to the display module and you've given it commands to prove that it works, you know that you have all the hardware hooked up right. Next, go to our website, reachtech.com slash tutorials, or contact our technical support team with questions at 503-675-6464 or via email at techsupport at reachtech.com.